right now to GMA's new series, Diving Into Summer. We're visiting some of the best vacation spots across the country. This morning, we're kicking things off in Cape May, New Jersey. What a gorgeous morning on the beach. Janae Norman has the story. Janae, you're in my home state, the Garden State, known for its sweet corn and expansive beaches. <laughs> I did not know that, Lindsay, but you probably know that Cape May is the quintessential beach town. Look at all of these excited locals and visitors because beyond the beach, there is so much to do here. We're here at the Washington Street Mall, and the tourism team tells me that this is the oldest seashore resort and the only landmark city in the country. So we checked out some of the coolest hot spots here in Cape May. Hailed as America's oldest seaside resort, you can be entertained whether on the beach or off the beach all day in Cape May. Cape May, New Jersey boasts beautiful beaches, historic landmarks, and Victorian architecture. I love Cape May because I love to look at the Victorian homes and just imagine what they look like inside. One day I'll stay in one of those homes. For over 200 years, locals and tourists alike have flocked to Cape May to soak in the summer sunshine. They have great food here. They have awesome shopping uh, and everything's walking distance. Along the promenade, visitors can shop, stop by the arcade or grab a bite to eat. One gastronomic delight that keeps people coming back summer after summer, the original fudge kitchen. Every pound we sell, we still make by hand in an 80 year old recipe. We have not changed the thing. We have not changed the procedure and we have no plans on doing so. Pop into the longtime local favorite to watch the fudge being made fresh daily and take home some tasty treats. And the most popular historic attraction not to be missed is the Cape May Lighthouse. You can see the sunrise and the sunset from the top of the lighthouse in the same place over water, which is pretty unique. Visitors can cap off a perfect day by climbing the 199 steps to the top or going the relaxing route and taking in the sunset. Hey guys, look, I didn't forget about you. I sent some of the fudge from the original fudge kitchen right here in town there to the studio so you can try that. But as you can imagine, tourism is huge here. About 3,000 people live in Cape May. More than 50,000 visitors flock to this beach town annually. And there's a lot going on for the people who live here. It is home to the only U.S. Coast Guard Training Center, and they're preparing to celebrate the branch's 75th anniversary. But beyond the beach, there are movies on the beach, concerts, and Christmas here. It looks like a holiday. Hallmark movie. So, guys, a lot <laughs> going on here in Cape May. Enjoy the stay and thank you for the fudge, Janae. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So, go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.